Hello, this is Craig from Dispox.co.uk. In this video, we're going to look at how to dust off your old miniatures. Um, so if you're like me, and you have a lot of miniatures, and you keep them on the shelf, then over time, they will get a little bit dusty. And what I will say though, is that um, even though I do have a lot of miniatures, um, not many of them actually get quite dusty. These are the worst. Um, I do find that obviously it's more noticeable on um, the darker painted miniatures. Um, most miniatures will have small layers of dust on them, but it's not always um, as noticeable. Um, these miniatures I've had for years, so it's not like they've been on the shelf for a few days or months, weeks. I mean, they've sat around for years. I don't see a lot of game time either. So, um, before I begin, I just want to say um, just a quick apology for those who may have been expecting a Shadow War Armageddon campaign video today. Um, we didn't manage to get um, any filmed when we planned to, but we're hoping to film some soon, so you'll be seeing them on the channel shortly, and we're going to start our 40k coverage very soon also, so look out for them over the next couple of weeks for sure. So anyway, let's get into dusting off these miniatures. Okay, so there's two ways that I really go about it, and these might seem quite simple. Um, the reason I'm doing this video, which I haven't mentioned, is that um, one of our patrons did ask me um, the question, and I thought it would make a good um, little video. Um, and with um, 8th edition Lumen, of course, I'm sure a lot of us will be getting some old armies back off the shelf. So, um, let's get some of these tabletop ready. So the first thing that you can do is obviously um, just use an old brush. Now make sure it's a clean brush and make sure it dry as well. Um, this is just a cheap old brush that I actually use for dry brushing. Um, I rec recently picked them up for very cheap and those who watch the live show would have um, already heard me mention these. So I have some of my Crimson Fists here, these are an army that um, I collected way back in 5th edition. Um, you can see his legs, pretty pretty good, but then as you come to the top of a miniature, he is just covered in dust. And you can see the difference on the shoulder pad, just like that half compared to that half. So of course you can get your dry brush, and you can simply wipe a lot of this away. Now, it's worth having a brush with soft bristles, not one that's um, all um, like hardened up through overuse. You want one that's got very soft bristles, that way you can get into all the recesses. And then you won't run the risk of scratching your miniature either. And, oh, as I drop in. <laughs> you can see he comes, he cleans up quite, quite nicely. There's still a few really hard to reach places, you could use a smaller brush to get in there if you wish. Now after, um, of course, before you use this brush um, to paint again, wash it out thoroughly, get all that dust off there, but we're going to do another one, just, and it comes off very easily. And I'm sure my Orc and Tyrannid Army will have to go through a lot of this, however, there is a slightly quicker way which we will look at as well, and I just thought brought me out with Rhino as well. He needs some touching up, I don't know what's happened there. But you can see he's very dusty, and Maybe we can get rid of the dust quite easily with a brush, but you can see the difference, or well, hopefully, you can see the difference on camera. So that's one way you can go about it. And that's the way I'm sure most people will. But there's another way you can do, and that is to take an airbrush. So I'm going to turn on the compressor, and then we'll use an airbrush to um, get rid of the dust. Okay, so the airbrush um, is another way you can remove dust. However, I will say that if moles have been around um, collecting dust for a long time like these, it might not get all the dust off. It'll certainly get the top layer off. But you may have to go over it with a brush. As you see, look, um, it's probably hard to see on camera, but it's taken some of the dust off. But. We sort of have that, that old layer on there. So, if they're really dusty like this, um, certainly just use a regular brush. Um, I suppose enough passes with the airbrush. I do apologise if you can't hear me over the compressor. Um, 
So I have got this um, orc boy who is a bit dusty but not as bad as these guys and we can clean him up quite easily with the airbrush. And then on the rhino, um, again this is quite old so I don't know how well this will work. Not too great. But this will clear off the top layer and ideally you could just airbrush over everything and then use the brush to get whatever's left. But if it really gets stuck on like here then there's no other way apart from just using just your old brush. And that really cleans it up. Providing you don't get little bits of paint or whatnot stuck on your tank, so I'll have to give that a bit of a repaint. And just back to the marines. And that's essentially it really. Um obviously you don't want to be using any solvents or fluids down, won't even use water, just in case you take any of the paint off. So it really is just a case of getting a getting a nice soft dry brush going over them. And if you've only got a little bit of dust like this orc boy did, then you can just get your airbrush and just play for a whole army quite quickly. So yeah, um, it's as simple as that really, just a little quick, simple little tutorial. Um, again, I, I apologise we couldn't get a Shadow War to um, game out today, but I was planning on doing this tutorial to put out at some point anyway, so I'm just going to put it up t um, today. But it's as simple as that, um, that is just how to dust off your miniatures, and I'm sure there will be a lot of us doing this in preparation for 8th edition 40k. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.